Welcome back to our channel. I'm Anna Gondrabura, your English and effective communication coach. Let me teach you the top seven phrases that will help you communicate in the tech world. But first, I want to make sure you have subscribed to our channel because I don't want you to miss your daily English lesson. Let's dive in. The first phrase is let me know. Now, this phrase is perfect for encouraging open communication, right? It's an informal way of asking for someone's opinion, decision, or for further information even, you know? Native speakers use let me know instead of tell me because let me know is uh, more polite and less pushy. So let me give you an example. Let's imagine that um, you have been explaining a new software feature to your team and uh, now you might say, let me know if you have any questions or need clarification. You don't say tell me, but let me know. Use let me know because it shows that you're open to dialogue and supportive. Next, hit me up. Think of this as a casual invitation to contact you. It's a conversational way of saying, contact me. Imagine you're finishing a team meeting and you might say, if you have any more ideas for our project, hit me up. And hit, hit me up means uh, contact me on Slack or email your choice. Another phrase is circle back. Now this phrase is key in meetings and discussions and it suggests revisiting the topic at a later time because you're probably stuck and you need more information or more time. In other words, let's come back to this discussion later. Now imagine that you have been discussing something for hours without any result, uh, without any solution. And you might say something like this, let's circle back to this after we have uh, had a chance to review the latest data. Thanks for stepping up. Now, recognition is crucial in tech environments. Now, this phrase speaks about someone's effort to take on a challenge or extra responsibility. And here is an example. Let's imagine that a team member goes above and beyond on a project. And uh, this is when you say, thanks for stepping up and helping with the project. It boosts morale and encourages a culture of appreciation, which is really important on every team. Moving on to the next phrase, I am reaching out to, one of my favorite, because I use it all the time. This phrase is often used at the beginning of emails or messages, for example, on LinkedIn, to express that you need help, you need some information, or you want to collaborate. For example, I'm reaching out to discuss potential improvements in our workflow. In other words, I'm writing to discuss. So I'm reaching out is a better way of saying I'm writing to do something. I'm writing to do something sounds a little bit more formal. I'm reaching out more casual and proper. I look forward to, now this phrase is perfect for closing emails or conversations but positively and politely. So you start with the, I'm reaching out and you end with the, I look forward to. And when you say I look forward to doing something, you mean that you are expecting in something eagerly, like you really want to get it, right? So for example, you can end your email saying, I look forward to your feedback, meaning that I'm eagerly waiting for your feedback. But remember to add ing ending to a verb after look forward to, it's a must here. And lastly, let's wrap up. Now let's wrap up is a perfect phrase to end any meeting or any discussion or even a video. We're actually going to be wrapping up this video very soon. And that's what you're going to say. Let's wrap up. And after you say let's wrap up, you can summarize the um, action items or talk about the next steps so that everyone is on the same page. And before I wrap up this video, I want you to remember that the key to successful communication is uh, clarity, respect, and a bit of personality. So don't be afraid to make these phrases that I have taught you your own. Use them next time you have to speak English in meetings. Don't be shy. Don't be the person like sitting in the back and never saying anything. Have you enjoyed this video? This is exactly what you get when you join one of the English Variety courses because we have videos exactly like this one. If you want to join one of the English Variety courses, I have a special offer for you. So make sure you check the description to this video and uh, join me on the English learning journey.